we can let hey there he is. Hey, what's up back in oh the bear oh, hey. oh, hey. <laughs> oh, Peter. Yeah. so we're all like here guys you the know, price guys. is right hey, bob you ask and you receive <laughs> yeah, that's right it's landmark come on down Mr. brother bones come now brother bob all right brother bob got anything what do you got for us today we need some good news good news yeah good, good news, news is the fact that nato right now is launching the largest air assault in uh nato history and, and it's a snap drill what happens with yeah. snap drills snap drills turn into the real thing i'll tell you what they're going to put together that much that big of a campaign they're not it's not going to go to waste i really don't think so that's a lot of money a lot of manpower a lot of organizing and the fact that they had decided now that NATO's going to send Ukraine 24 F-16s capable of carrying nuclear weapons. Okay. Don't so forget. with that being said, uh, Russia's getting backed into a corner. It's a big one right now because according to Dreams and Visions, I've seen here on my channel, uh, the rapture resurrection takes place at the nuclear war interchange. Okay. And it makes sense, too, because the nuclear weapon got its name from Atomo, which is Greek which means uh, instant in a moment, okay? Oh, and the wow. fact that we have nuclear weapons all over the world waiting to go off, a yeah. momentary instant weapon, okay? Yeah. The name of Tomo is in 1 Corinthians 15, 51, 53. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye of the last Trump. So the fact that we are in this environment of a moment attack yeah. and our departure is based on those same parameters yeah. of in a moment, the twinkling of an eye. So, hey guys, that, I mean it's awesome you're doing this today because you know between now and the twenty fourth, yeah. they're going to announce the World War Three, and the fact that they have that snap drill going on right now, today, yeah. yeah, all right. I don't think that's going to go to waste. I think they're really going to go and they're really going to go for it. And mm -hmm. Putin did say that Europe will become a the place of skulls. It's funny how to use yeah. that name. Yeah. yeah because, you're right. you know, the Bible says the place of the skull where Jesus, where, where he was crucified, the place of the skull. It's funny how to use that word, right? Yeah. Yes. And the other thing interesting, too, is this. You know, when that first nuke goes off, that takes peace from the earth. That is a second red seal of the red horse. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, that will cause yeah. peace to leave the earth. The earth, okay? right. Because that type of devastation has never been seen since the Shemitah cycle where World War II took place. Yeah, yeah. And that's the similarity of this Shemitah cycle we're in because yeah. the Shemitah cycle where the last nuclear bomb was detonated on a civilian population in Hiroshima took place in the dry run of the tribulation cycle back 1939 to 1946, which was during World War II. And now here we are in the potential seven-year Shemitah cycle, which could be the seven tribulation. And World War III is about to begin. And now, you know, you constantly hear this narrative about these nuclear bombs being used. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, absolutely right, so, Bobby. It's, it's time. Today very well could be the day of the blast. Maybe not the so far, but if we hear something about a nuke or a tactical nuke, it's not going to take long. And mm -hmm. this is the whole thing of suddenly, like Brother Bob just brought, the whole thing with the, 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 the meaning of that, where you got that from the Greek. Right. I just wanted to uh, add in on uh, on what Brother Bobby was talking about in a moment. The first use of in a moment is Exodus 33, 5. And it's right after the sin of the golden calf. And God says, in a moment, I will rise up and smoke them. Mm. I will destroy Ooh. them and cut them off. So he said the very first use of in a moment is in the moment when I visit their What's sins it? upon them. Yeah. It'll be in a moment. Wow. And then he ties the exact last use of in a moment. It's in a moment in a twinkling of an eye. I'm going to take you. That's Psalm awesome. 18 starts out with, we're surrounded by hell, the gates of hell and death and sorrow. We cry out to God, sudden destruction, hailstones, coals of fire. All that comes down. Then he says, I sent from above and took you and drew you out of many waters and brought you into a large place oh so, that, man. with this with the hailstones and coals of fire coming down that could be nukes too yep in the mix in the mix you know like uh, 
like the vision with the you know the the basket of fire, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And another thing too to think about is, like I said, that that seal is open. It's a second seal. Now, before any seal is open, where are we? We're standing before the throne. Up there. Before Jesus opens those seals, we have to recognize corporately together in one voice who we are, the fact that he redeemed us from the earth, that only he's only he's the only one worthy to open those seals. Right. Okay. That right. all takes place before a single seal is cracked. The fact that these nukes fall while the red horse is riding, that only means that we are long gone. Yeah. This yeah. is a chronological yeah. order, right? Yeah. Dr. Yeah. Barry? Absolutely. Makes sense. We we have to be there because in order for someone to open a seal on a covenant the parties of inheritance must be there it's like a yeah. last will yeah. and testament yeah. must be yeah. there that's right and yeah. then he, and then it says in in revelation 5 9 out of every nation not that's israel that's right out of every nation we've been redeemed by his blood that's Seven. not you. Before the first seal, before the first one. So, yeah, we're there. We're singing a new song, dressed all pretty. <laughs> <laughs> one, I got a, a fun thing to say, uh, too, because um, we're, we're – who's there? <laughs> we're approaching Leo the lion, right? And, um, and the lion of Judah opens the scroll. But the first seal is announced by um, – the the four creatures so wow. the first four seals are announced by the first four living creatures the second is is announced by the second living creature the third is announced by the third living creature the fourth is announced by the fourth living creature the one doesn't really clarify it but by deduction you can figure out that it's the first living creature that is opening the first seal the first living creature is a lion I yes. like a lion so the lion I opens or announces the first seal mm. yes we got the, the living creature announcing it and the lion of judah opening the scrolls right so we're approaching this lion the sun we're, we're getting close to that sun being in in a leo the lion on uh, on july 26th it's in the beehive cluster but then a few uh, days later it's it's right in front of leo so right in this summer season in general it's just a fantastic uh lion connection with the stars and with revelation 5 and 6. yeah uh, and then in revelation 10 uh, it, it talks about um, he cried with a loud voice as when a lion roars yes. when he cried out seven thunders. But in the first seal, it talks about the the first living creature sounding uh, with a voice of thunder, the voice of thunder mm. with the yeah. first living creature. So we got this lion and thunder connection, but it ties to Revelation 10 as well. And so it's hard to just ignore the lion now in the stars. And Bob, you brought up some really great uh, videos of the second uh, coming 2030 and, and relating it to Leo and Virgo and things like that. But I think this ties into the beginning of, of the story as well. The line yep. connection. Mm -hmm. with it all. 